So today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to keep driving after a DUI arrest. In the state of Florida, it is impossible to get around and to continue your life normally without a driver's license. Now, there's two different suspensions that can happen if you've been arrested for a DUI. If you provided a breath sample and it was over a 0.08 breath alcohol level, you have been suspended for six months by the Department of Motor Vehicles. If you refuse to take a breath sample, in your case, you've already been suspended for one year. Now the chances are the officer physically took your driver's license and the next day when you got out of jail, you have no license and you are terrified that you're not gonna be able to continue working and living and providing for your family. Now there's a great option to keep you driving through the entirety of your case. Now that means from the next day through the next 10 days, you're able to drive on your citation. There's gonna be tiny little font on the bottom of your citation that says this is a temporary driver's license for 10 days. Now, they're doing that so that you can hire an attorney, find someone who is an expert in DUIs that can help you through this process. Now, calling an attorney that can walk you through this will save you a lot of heartache. Now, it's a little complicated, but the simple breakdown is this. You need to sign up for what's called DUI school. Different counties in Florida have different DUI school programs. You have to sign up for the one specific for your county. Once you get the receipt showing I've signed up for DUI school, then you need to file an application for a hardship license. As long as you have never been convicted of DUI previously, you will be accepted for a hardship license from the DMV. Now, once you have that hardship license in your hand, you are able to drive for work, church, education purposes, and for life necessities. Now, similarly, if you refuse that breath sample and you've already been suspended for one year, that hardship license will keep you driving for that entire year. This will also make it so you can go see your attorney, so that you can get to court, and so that you can complete the other things that you need while your DUI is pending. Now, in the alternative, if you know that you were wrongfully arrested and you either didn't blow over a 0.08 and your license shouldn't have been suspended, or if you refuse to provide a breath sample but you don't think they had a reason to arrest you, you can fight the suspension. Now you need to hire an attorney who specializes in DUIs and fighting DUI suspensions in order to go forward with a, what is called a formal review hearing. Now at that hearing, an attorney can fight for you and get the entire suspension thrown out. Now, the best option for most people, keep driving, get that hardship license in your pocket, keep moving forward with your life. Now, if you find yourself in this predicament where your license has been suspended, again, the very first thing you should do is call an attorney who specializes in DUIs and have them walk you through this process. They can save you a lot of steps and help you get your license in your hand fast.